thought it was going to be another video about the Hudson. Not today. Not today, guys. Instead, I'm doing something a little bit different. But I just thought I'd, you know, show off my new engine one more time. Just because of how awesome it is. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop doing it. Okay, let's see here. The real video is about this bad boy right here. Behold. Alright, my first video review of a Backman steam locomotive. Let's go ahead and come out the power here. Welcome back, everyone. The kid is back. Yes, the kid is back. With another video review. This time of the Backman 2662 Chesapeake and Ohio DCC and Sound Steam Locomotive. May I say, this engine is freaking awesome. I know, I say that about every steam engine now. Well, I mean it because they're all awesome because it's steam and it's not diesel. So I'm a little bit biased on the steam guy. What, what am I gonna say? Anyway, this locomotive. Ah, oh, I love telling the story behind this locomotive. Gosh, this was my second DCC steam locomotive. Um, at least uh, second one was sound, and it was my favorite for a while until I got the Hudson. <laughs> But no, it uh, it was my favorite for a long time. Story behind it, uh, as a matter of fact, you can go into my uh, one of my previous videos. Um, actually, the video from the last train show, the one that was in February. If you go and you check that one out, you can actually uh, see a video of this locomotive in action. You can also hear the story about how I uh, got it. But for those of you who are just tuning into this channel and have never seen my videos before, I'll go ahead and tell you the story. It was the uh, February train show. Um, of this year, February of this year, uh, 2011. Uh, it, was a t it was the 19th, it was, the train show was on the 20th, but it was the 19th. I was with the Inchome uh, Modular Club, Spokane Washington. We were setting up for the layout, setting up our layout there uh, at the Spokane Community College. Uh, getting ready for the next day, and I had decided to go wander around because the vendors were putting up some tables. And uh, I go to one of the local tables, one of the guys who has a local shop over here, uh, and uh, I saw, at the first thing I see are these two blue boxes. Now, for the train shows around here, most vendors, they don't normally have a bunch of new items. They have the same items every year. Uh, I mean, there will be a, there might be a few new tables, uh, or the ta there's some of the older tables might have a few new products, but there's not much. This guy, he had two Backman Spectrum DCC and Sound 2662s, okay? The first thing I saw were those blue boxes. I walked up, I picked it up, and I saw. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is this is awesome. This is this is me. This is an articulate. I don't have any articulated stuff. Uh, at this point, I had the MTH Daylight, but I didn't have anything like this. And I wanted uh, I wanted a steam locomotive that could be. I was looking for a steam locomotive that could be used for freight service instead of just passenger. And I saw this. I'm like, whoa. So I'm thinking, wait, this is a Spectrum in a blue box. Normally those have sound. And then I look at the price tag. It says 150 dollars. I'm like, there's no way. I'm like, there's no way this could be $150. It must not have sound. I look at the side. It says DCC and sound. And I was shocked there for a minute. And so I uh, looked at the guy and I said, excuse me. I said, uh, does this little motor actually have sound? He's like, well, uh, I said, yeah, it should. So it was the same in the box. It said DCC and sound. I said, yeah, it must have sound. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I'm freaking out. Now, at this point in time, I don't have any cash on me. So what I did was... I called my frantically called my mother like mom come down here with some cash I I really I, I need to buy this she's not answering the phone of course uh, but I'm freaking out but the guy told me anyway he said it wouldn't make a difference if you had cash now he's like you can't buy it till tomorrow he's like you're not gonna be able to buy it I'm like okay see me kind of an attitude no this is not the gentleman who owns the store this is just someone who works for him at these shows at any rate I had gone back to the uh, to the inch show layout and I said guy this is uh, one of the club members names guy yes guy is his name 
I said, guy, uh, come here. I said, there's a there's a gentleman. He's selling uh, a couple of steam engines for DCC and sound for hundred and fifty dollars. He stops what he's doing. He puts down a set of plates. He says, what? I said, yeah, you gotta you gotta come check this out. This is this is awesome. So he goes over to the table with me, and he's like, whoa, and, you know, he's just he's looking at the box. He's picking it up. He's looking all around. He's like, these are nice. I'm like, I know. So I'm freaking out, and uh. I'm like, the guy won't sell it to us, though. He said, we got to wait till tomorrow. So what he does is he calls up the owner of the store, uh, tells him where we're coming from. He's like, uh, Jim, that's no store owner's name. He said, Jim, this is Guy Pelletier from the uh, Interim Training Club. Look, we uh, we see a couple of items on your table that uh, we'd be interested in. You know, we were wondering if you'd be willing to sell them to us today. You know, that's $300 in your pocket uh, and, two, and you know, a couple extra space on your table, a little bit more table space for you there. So, you know, we'd be wondering if you'd be willing to... Uh, sell them to us, and he said yes. Now we're keep in mind that I don't have any cash at this point. I'm like, okay, hold this for me till my mom gets here. Guy says, don't worry about it. Takes out three hundred dollars, gives it to the guy, pays for both of our trains right there. And at that moment, it was like, wow, I was just, I was dumbfounded. I was so overcome with joy, I, I couldn't even speak. And he's like, now you know. I'm going to charge you $170 for the engine, right? <laughs> and we started cracking up right there. But, of course, I gave him back his money like about an hour or so later. And I put this thing on the track after we had gotten the layout all set up. We were test running and everything. I had, oh gosh, I was so excited. So I set it on the track and sound starts up and I'm just going ecstatic. And everyone, <laughs> everyone's just looking. Looking at me like I'm funny. I blow the whistle. And everybody just stops. We're like, oh, and they just start going crazy and freaking out. But anyway, that's that's the story of how I got this engine. It's honestly probably one of my favorite trading stories to tell. Uh, I've I've got quite a few, but this one has to be one of my favorites. Anyway, if it wasn't for a guy, I would have never gotten this engine. Uh, as probably I probably I might I might not have gotten it at all. Might not have even gotten it as soon because he's the one who made the phone call. He's the one who paid for it. So I have to say thank you. Uh, thank you, guy. I pre really appreciate it. Can't tell you how much I do. Uh, but at any rate, on to the actual review itself. Beautiful, beautiful engine. Lots of detail. Backman Spectrum. This Backman has really stepped their game up. Um, their Spectrum line with DCC and sound just—it's uh, absolutely amazing. Tsunami sound decoders. All their Spectrum locomotives have Tsunami sound decoders. Okay, you cannot go wrong with a Tsunami decoder. Tsunamis are really, really freaking awesome. Uh, the sound quality is great. Loud sound. This locomotive is really loud. Really loud. Uh, one of the club members actually thought this was a Broadway Limited locomotive. I said, no, this is a Backman. And he was very, real surprised. Uh, but it, as you can see, it's got a lot of detailing. A lot of, uh, well, you might not be able to see it that well. But it's got a lot of uh, pipe detailing on the side. I, just, I, I don't know the specific terms. As I said to you guys in the last video, I don't know specific terms for the details. But there's just so much going on. It's so involved. If you look at a real picture... Of the uh, of the two six six two, you'll notice that this this is a this is a pretty good representation of that model. I mean, this is just an amazing train. This is an amazing amazing train. It it does it will do a picture justice. Let's put it that way. Uh, it's got two cap figures on the inside. Uh, it's got windows, painted windows, uh, painted yellow around the edges. Uh, the, the firebox is not light up, unlike some certain backup models or a couple backup models with uh, lit, lit up fireboxes. Don't have. I currently don't have any HO models with fireboxes that light up. Not that big of a deal. Backup modem models, modems, models generally don't smoke. Uh, this one is no exception. This uh, this one does not have any smoke. Uh, but. You know what's funny though? Their DC, a lot of Backman DC models do, but their DCC models don't. Don't know why. If they were to put a smoke unit, uh, generator inside the locomotives, it would just give their trains that much more oomph. But I, I'm very impressed with this locomotive regardless. Uh, it's got you got. Yes, you can see here. There's some number boards, some marker. Uh, are these marker lights? I guess these are marker lights. Uh, none of the the number boards don't light up. Marker lights don't light up. This does not have a reversing light. All, the only light that you have on this locomotive, there are no cab lights either. All the only lights you have on this locomotive are the front headlight. Only light, that's it. But, for $150, DCC and sound, and this sound quality is amazing, may I say. May I tell you that? It's just awesome. For $150, bucks, you can not beat it at all. And just, it's my, it was my first backwind steam locomotive. It was my first freight steam locomotive. 
not as nice as my MTH Daylight, but I'm not complaining because it comes it comes pretty dang close. I, if, in my personal opinion. At any rate, let's fire this bad boy up if I can stop dropping stuff here. Once again, using the NCE power cab as always. Come on. Alright, here we go. So, as you guys know, I love sound. I'm, uh, I, I am obsessed with sound. I have pet peeves about locomotives not having the right sound. This locomotive does everything right, in my personal opinion, as far as sound is concerned. First off, I'd like to say that I love just the idle sequence of, of the train. Just when the locomotive is just sitting there, you can hear it hissing. I just love that. This little breath that it takes. Just, uh, just awesome. Now, Bachman, they have quite a few functions on here. They have quite a few functions to access all sorts of different sound effects on their engines, and they, they're, they're awesome. The sound effects are just awesome. This is, and they have some sound effects that I wish the higher-end models, like Broadway Limited and MTH, I really wish that they would put on their trains, but they don't. At least you can't access them through function keys. First off, one I really like is the blowdown, okay? I love that. Uh, you've got a short whistle. Love that. The long whistle, of course. And the bell. The bell. I like this bell. Honestly, I like this bell better than I do um, than the one that's on my Broadway Limited Hudson. And what's great is, since this is an articulated steam locomotive, you've got the double chuffing. Another great feature, you've got a uh, dynamo. Only problem is when you activate the dynamo, the hissing sound of the steam locomotive stops. It still has those little, ch -ch -ch, those little breaths, but the hissing of the locomotive stops. And I, that's the only thing that I would say is a problem with this, uh, with this model. But overall, it's I'm re I really enjoy it. I really do enjoy my two six six two. It's a, it's a great steam locomotive. I recommend it to anyone who's looking to buy a new steam locomotive for their fleet. Or just want to, if you if you're a diesel guy and you just want to experiment, a Backman Spectrum 2662 is a great locomotive to go ahead and pick up to get you to get the feel of a nice steam locomotive. You're not going to pay too much money for it, and it's not it's not a really cheap model either. So it's not it's nothing like that you're going to look at as cheap. <laughs> nothing that's going to be too cheap to where it's like I don't want to buy that because the detail sucks. This engine has very very nice detail. Maybe not to the standards of Broadway Limited or MTH, but still, I say it's it's up there. It's pretty darn close. You're not going to be able to tell the difference, to be quite honest. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, I am Railroad Kid 1937. As always, I'd like to say peace, God bless, thanks for watching, and I did. I hope you did enjoy this review. As all another thing, guys, I appreciate all the comments I got on my last video uh, for my Broadway Limited, um, my Broadway Limited Hudson. Uh, please let me know how I'm doing with these reviews. Do you like the reviews? Do you like the formatting of it? If you don't, if you have some uh, suggestions on how I could improve, please, always, I'm open to suggestions, please let me know. At any rate, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in another review.